Welcome to Legacy Trails with your host, Stan Potts and Terry Horton. Even before I was able to hunt, he would take me hunting, duck hunting or deer hunting. My mom was a hunter, my grandmother was a hunter, and they started me hunting when I was just a little girl. It's about passing it along. It's what my granddad and my dad did for me. They passed the outdoor legacy on to me when I was a little boy. Come along with us as we show you our family's love of God's great outdoors on Legacy Trails. This week's show is brought to you by Chevrolet Silverado, Find New Roads, Mission Archery, Bows and Crossbows that outperform their price, Heavy Metal, because I didn't come this far to miss, Spy Point, the world's best and most advanced trail cameras, Drop Time, high quality pear flavored minerals, CamoCarpet.com, bring the outdoors in, Skeeter Wilson tree stands and accessories, Dunn Sporting Goods, family owned and operated for over 50 years. And by the Scout Look Deer Log app with automatic weather capture. Folks, welcome to this week's show. We have got such a great show for you this week. All the kids are going hunt and they are gonna take their first animal. And I remember when I took my first animal. And I'm sure you do too, Terry. And I remember when I was with both my sons when they took their first deer. Right. Stan, I remember the first duck I ever killed. You know duck hunting is my passion. And my dad took me and I was nine years old. We went to a rice field and we was in a duck blind. He called the ducks in and I couldn't even see it with a blind, so I shot a higher duck than the one he intended me to shoot. Man, I'll always remember that. Memories last a lifetime, just like my first deer. Never forget it, I shinnied up a tree, stood on a limb of a cherry tree, and shot a big old deer with a bow in 1967. You know, and I remember every single detail. So let's not wait any longer and let's get to the action. Let's watch these kids. Peyton Kaczynski is hunting on the Armstrong family's property in Southern Illinois, hoping to bag her very first turkey. Brenda Potts is in the ground blind with her granddaughter and is excited that she's hearing multiple cobbles this morning and they seem to be coming their way. This is a youth only season turkey hunt and as Peyton prepares to aim at one of the gobblers, she has the dilemma of them staying too close to each other. She can legally take only one bird and they're within 15 yards, so she has to watch them as they walk away. We've probably got about a million birds to the right. You doing good? Uh, we saw three gobblers and we saw five gobblers and three jakes. Good. So you ready to do it again in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try it again in the morning then. Better luck. Brenda and Peyton, they got really close this morning, uh, but we're gonna move them over here just a little bit further. They can see a lot better area right here and gives them a better chance seeing them coming and getting things rolling. After Derek calls to no avail, they decide to make a move. Do you want me to get the decoys? Yeah, if you want to, go ahead and get them. As Peyton walks down to retrieve the decoys, she sees a group of Jake turkeys heading towards them. I see three jakes down there walking up the hill. A jake is a young turkey and legal to take, so Peyton just might get another chance at her first bird. to get my first turkey. Yes. <laughs> the guy who's good done perfect. <laughs> perfect. That is a dandy. 
your first turkey. What do you think about it? It's a big turkey. <laughs> They're a lot bigger up close, ain't they? Now it's one year later, and Peyton is in the same location in the same blind. And once again, it's a youth-only turkey hunt, but this time she is determined to get a gobbler. With a little calling and a decoy set, the birds come a-running through the early morning fog. Let's go check out your turkey. Peyton's cousin Allison is along for her very first hunting experience, and at age 17, she's too old to get a tag for the youth hunt, but after this morning, she just may want to take up hunting. Three gobblers came in on this first turkey hunt I've ever been on in my life, and you shot the dominant bird. She just nailed him. Good job, Peyton. Thanks. Legacy Trails will return after these messages. A man, a man and his truck, and his son who would rather play computer games than go camping. And a valley, and a river, and the stars, and a new convert. The all new Chevy Silverado, from one generation to the next, strong for all the roads ahead. You're watching Legacy Trails, and now it's time for Along the Way with Stan Potts. Let me tell you about my first 200 inch deer. It was in 1983. It was on November the 21st, the day after the three day gun season in Illinois. It was a mild day, it was 70 degrees probably, and I got to the tree maybe 2, 2.30 in the afternoon, and about three o'clock I went through a rattling sequence, and as soon as I was done, I hung my antlers up, grabbed my bow, and immediately start looking. I heard a noise to my left. I turned and looked, didn't see anything. So I scanned around, heard the noise again, looked back, and there he stood. And I, I, I knew back then what a world-class deer was, and this was. He was about 40 yards away, standing with his ears back, looking for the fight. So what he did is he jumped the ditch and he started up through a thicket and I knew that he would come out of that thicket right in front of me and I was getting myself in position, you know, because I'd made so many crazy mistakes. I didn't want to make a mistake on this deer. So I knew he would either be at 40 or he'd be at 20 and I'm getting myself in position and I saw out of the corner of my eye when he started to come out and I knew he was at 20 yards. I was gonna get a 20 yard shot at the biggest buck I'd ever seen. As he goes behind a bush, I come to full draw where he don't see me and I'm holding and he stopped before he come out. Well then when he comes out, he's walking slow and I don't wanna stop this deer cause I don't wanna spook him. So I knew I had to aim a little forward from where I wanted to hit him because he's quartering away. I turned it loose, it looked perfect and it exploded. He run over the hill and he was gone just that quick. And I decided 30 minutes I'd get down out of the tree and go look. It was probably five minutes. And then I didn't go look because I knew I hit him good or I thought. So I went to town, got my two buddies, came back. By then it was dark. We had the lights. We immediately found blood where I shot him, but the blood trail petered out quick. We had separated and they were up to the right looking along a fence. And I was going through this tall grass, just looking, looking. I'd go back and then I went out and I actually found the deer without finding any more blood. I saw the deer, he only went 150 yards. And when I saw his big rack sticking up over weeds waist high, I ran down there and you're never ready for this. I picked his head up, set it in my lap, and this is a 212 inch gross typical. And I had my own private moment and forgot I had two of my best buddies out there with me. When I remembered, I kind of snapped too. I hollered at them. I could see their flashlights come running down there. When they run up, it was a celebration that you cannot believe. 
And that was my first 200 inch deer, an 11 point typical 212 that nets 196 back in 1983. And that started something for me that the passion is still there today and will be my entire lifetime. Derek and Susan Armstrong started taking their daughters, Allie and Adriana, hunting at an early age. On this cold morning, six-year-old Adriana is bundled up and ready to take her first buck. tracks and he didn't move anywhere. That's a good shot, wasn't it? Good job, baby. Excellent shot. Now, Adriana is hunting for her first muzzleloader deer. I'm on my first muzzleloader hunt and our neighbors have an alfalfa field and they've been seeing deer coming out. So they wanted to know if we could get a few deer out. shoot my first muzzleloader deer and we went and got my papa so let's go load her up come with us <laughs> Made a good shot on her, kiddo. Yeah, you done good. She's Get a big one. Huh? <laughs> Legacy Trails will return after these messages. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Kids Gone Hunting with Buck Horton is presented by Chevrolet Silverado. Find new roads. It's time again for Kids Gone Hunting. On this week's segment, we're gonna take a look at some of Peyton Kaczynski's first hunts. A doe, and then a buck. You know that's gotta be one proud dad. Yes. Hang on. She's moving. Help me. Put it right behind her shoulder. 
good shot. Very excited. <laughs> So proud of you, Peyton. That's my girl right there. That's my girl. Did you hear the noise? Did you hear the shot? Really... You didn't hardly hear it sound like a pop gun going off, didn't it? Don't tell me. Hi, Papa. I got my first shot. Did you get it? Yeah. What'd you get? A doe, and I got her right in the heart or the lung. Great job. <laughs> I think it's awesome. This is my daughter Peyton. It's, it's her first exciting. deer ever. First deer she's ever shot at in her whole life. That's pretty good for a first hunt. Take after your Papa Stanley or your daddy? I think I take after both because I think you take after Papa. <laughs> I think you take, take after, after Brenda some too. <laughs> Congratulations, honey. Alright! Your first deer. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. Yay! That is the best. One year later, Tim Potts is guiding his kids Tristan and Peyton hunting for their first buck. Now that Tristan's buck is down, it's Peyton's turn at her first buck. Can I shoot up? This is my uh, first deer ever. Me, my brother, Tristan, and my dad were out here. We went deer hunting, and Tristan saw this buck, and he just center punched him. So we're gonna head down here and see if we can find him down here on this hill. Stopped and stared at the decoy, Bucky Jr., and then he just was a little bit broadside enough to where I can shoot him, and I nailed him right in the shoulder. Legacy Trails will return after these messages. I didn't come this far. To miss. Heavy Shot, the industry leader in shot shell technology, brings you heavy metal. Shoot devastating patterns and stack the odds on your side with every shot, every time. More lethal pellets, more clean kills. Check us out at HeavyShot.com. I didn't come this far to miss. You're watching Legacy Trails. It's time for Know Your Game with Allie and Adriana Armstrong. We're at Dunn Sporting Goods today so Mom and Dad can get their new mission bow set up. Adriana already has her mission menace bow set up, so she's going to head straight to the range for some practice. Jared's got mom's bow set up and ready to go. Now while he's working on dad's Voyager, he's gonna tell us a few tips on how to correctly set up your bow. In order to get the best performance out of your bow, you wanna make sure it's set up exactly for you. Each time you shoot your bow, you wanna make sure everything is tightened down just so you don't have any surprises. And also, you wanna make sure your arrow is set level with the, the riser of your bow. And you wanna make sure it's set left and right as well, right in the center. One thing I like to do, I like to make sure the arrow is cutting straight through the middle of the burger hole. Every bow has a burger hole right on the inside of the riser, and I like to make sure the arrow is in it. Thanks, Jared. Those are some great tips. I can definitely understand why it's a good idea to have your bow set up by a professional. Keepers of the Flame with Terry Horton is brought to you by Spy Point, the world's best and most advanced trail cameras. This week, we are honored to feature Mr. Ray Howe 
and his outstanding work with the Kicking Bear Camps. When Ray Howell was young, his dreams were of hunting and fishing, but his time was filled with working on his foster parents' farm and attending school. Living on the farm taught him valuable lessons and to work hard. He didn't have anyone to teach him about hunting and fishing. It wasn't until later in his life that he was able to pursue his interests. Ray's quest to harvest the 28 North American animals has taken him to the frigid cold of the Arctic, the wilderness areas of Mexico, the forest of Canada, the remote regions of the Yukon, and to many of the 50 states. The philosophy of the Kicking Bear Organization Centers is to show our youth a better way of life while providing them with a weekend of fun to experience new things and meet new friends. Engaging activities develops values, skills, and relationships. As Ray says, nothing we do is as important as the impact we have on our youth. And we strongly agree. For more information, visit the links on our website at LegacyTrailsTV.com. Folks, thanks for tuning in and seeing that. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. I'm sure you did all the kids taking their first animal. Unbelievable. Thanks for tuning in. We want to see you right back here next week, same time, same place, Legacy Trails TV. Thanks for watching and God bless. Next week on Legacy Trails, we head out west for spotted right stock mule hill. deer. You see him? I see him. Okay, shoot the one that's broadside in the back, right in the shoulder. Go ahead. Legacy Trails has been brought to you by Chevrolet Silverado. Find new roads. Mission Archery. Bows and crossbows that outperform their price. Heavy metal. Because I didn't come this far to miss. Spy Point. The world's best and most advanced trail cameras. Drop Time. High quality pear flavored minerals. CamoCarpet.com. Bring the outdoors in. Skeeter Wilson tree stands and accessories. Dunn Sporting Goods. Family owned and operated for over 50 years. And by the Scout Look Deer Log app with automatic weather capture. Promotional consideration was provided by these fine sponsors. This is my first year with the boat. And we've been hunting deer for a while with the boat this year. It's November 2nd. I got 11 more days to my birthday. It's the best early birthday present I've ever had. Good job, buddy.